Everyone, I'm Xin Yao Li from Tianjin, China. Uh, I'm double majoring in math and studio art, and I'm going to graduate in May 2017. So I'm really interested in the liberal arts college education in the U.S., and also really interested in the women education, especially only focused on the women. Um, before I chose Agnes, I have a list of schools, and I called one of the alumni. She is currently in Yale University. She told me the professors here are really supportive, and she is really enjoying. She was really enjoying the close relationship with the professors. So I think that kind of ideal relationship with the faculty and the support I can receive from the college would be the most important thing for my college life. That's why I chose Agnes. I take all of my professors as my parents. That's really how I feel. My professors are really inspiring and helpful. I think here, because the classes are really small, I can really talk to professors. And especially during their the office hours, I can visit them to ask the questions which I don't know, so that I can not only guarantee I know what I have learned, but also make sure I can get answer about what I'm also interested in. That's something I don't think the large university will have. Before I came to Agnes, my parents are now that they are kind of worrying about whether I can live by myself because I'm the only child and I never live without my parents. So that's the thing they're really concerned and whether I can overcome the language problems and uh, quickly adapt into the new environment. Yeah, that's something they're really concerned. After I came here, I had culture shock. But after culture shock, I realized if I cannot change the environment, I have to change myself. I develop an open mind, and so that I can make friends with American students and other international students. Also, um, improve my living abilities and also academic abilities through living by myself and learn in a different language. Yeah. I think my parents are really satisfied now because they have seen how much I have grown in the past four years. I talk to my parents at least once per day. <laughs> yeah, because they want to know what is happening and want to make sure everything is fine because they're parents and I talk to them through video chat. So I spend majority of my breaks, uh, winter breaks on campus, except the one in junior year. Um, I, use that time, I use that time to explore Atlanta, to visit different places, the museums, and Coca-Cola Center, and uh, just the Olympic parks, those different places to get familiar with this city I'm living in, and also other universities like Georgia Tech, Emory, to visit the campus. Mm -hmm. And my summer break, I will go back home, stay with my parents, and visit different places in China. I have met my best friend forever after I came to Agnes. Um, like, if I didn't come here, I will not meet my roommate and my other friends include both Chinese, Americans, and other international students. They really changed me a lot. I think there are two ways. One is through food. I really enjoy cooking, and I love cooking Chinese food for them to kind of show our uh, culture and also my skills. The other is the art. I think art is a good medium to create conversation between me and the viewers, which are more than my friends. Um, not only limit to my friends, and sh let, them real, uh, let them feel kind of what I want to show, my ideas, my inner culture through my art piece. Let them really observe it and try to interpret it. I really enjoy the diversity here because our college is really diverse. We have not only um, we have a lot of international students, and especially in our department, I'm the only Chinese student. I have the opportunity to talk with them and know a different way of expressing and showing ourselves. 
and a different approach of solving problems. I think those are really useful in my life. I think the past four years let me realize choosing Acne Scout is the best decision I've ever made. If I didn't come here, I will not meet the people, I will not meet my beloved professors, my best friends, and will not be the person who I am now. So coming to Agnes gave me a lot of different experiences, such as go to the art auction twice with professors and curate the exhibitions and draw the art pieces. And also have the opportunity to really engage in a project um, project and help professors to build course models. I think these are something which I will not get in big universities. I think coming to a women college have, has helped me a lot. I always think boy, men and women have different um, ways of thinking. And here the professors are really um, experienced with teaching women, so they will find a different, a really good approach to deliver the lecture and show you the new things which we can learn really quick. So before I came to Agnes, I was thinking about double majoring in economics and math. Um, but after I came here, I took a course, uh, I took my first year seminar in art history. Uh, which kind of let me step in the art field. And I started interested in interpreting those old masterpieces and decode the mysteries called by those artists. And then in order to finish an uh, art history major, I need to take a studio art class. And I learned with Professor Ruby. She's really inspiring. And I learned a lot from her. And because of her, I realized how about code my own secrets and let others to interpret it. That's why I decided to change my major from art history to studio art. And as I learned more arts, I realized there's connections between math and art. So I combined these two together and decided them as my majors. So as I take more art classes and Inter and learn more masterpieces, I realized there's some connection between math and art. And I really want to um, use art to show the beauty of math, to let others know the math is not just boring numbers, while well, art is not just a painting. There can be something really different, like a method. Yeah, so the architecture is really visible and easily to let people engage in because of its large scale and its function. So I want to show the beauty of math and also another, um, and also the beauty of art through the architecture design. I will study architecture in Washington University in St. Louis. I think that's a good combination of math and art, where I can apply both um, the skills I learned from studio art, and also the methods I learned from math to um, create my own, to design my own architecture. So I've been dreaming to study in Washington University since I was a sophomore. I remember the first time I asked my professor about what, where can, uh, which kind of field I can combine both math and art together, and she told me architecture. And also, my professor was studying architecture in Washington University in St. Louis. She was grow up there. She was growing up there, and she told me that's a really good city, and the faculty there are really supportive. She think, um, and also is the campus looks really similar to Agnes. And also the city is really similar to Decatur. I think that will be a good choice for me to quickly engage in the new study environment and start my new life, graduate school life there. The Master of Architecture program is in St. Fox School in Washington University. And it has really good art program and also architecture program. There I can learn with a lot of really famous architects uh, who are the winners of Pulitzer Prize. And also I can get the resources from the art department, which I also re I'm also really interested in, like learn some photography skills there. Um, 
Besides you know, learning architecture, I also want to learn some, uh, learn some art and improve my art skills there. So the first time I was um, visiting Germany with the Global Awareness Germany team, and that's the first time I really see the Bauhaus School in real life. And I was really impressed by how the mechanic um, beauty was shown through architecture and how simple the simplest the beauty of simplicity and kind of let me realize sometimes a building like the Bauhaus method is not only applied in the architecture it can also apply in other field like uh, the industrial design and also jewel even the jewelry design and after that I started to think what about or say, I'm really interested in architecture after that. And the second time was I studied advanced math in Moscow. I was in math in Moscow program to learn geometry for my semester. I was really impressed or surprised, I think. I was really surprised by how the perpendicular can be some other degrees instead of 90 degree in hyperbolic plane. And also how the parallel can be intersect at some point. And after that learning, I realized what you see might not be what is there. The vision depends on the individual interpretation and their understanding. That's something really different. And while I were in Moscow, I visit a lot of art museums. I was inspired by the Marvich's Black Square. I was amazed by the simplicity of it. It's like a language which everyone can understand, not only art people. So I've heard Mass in Moscow program since the beginning of my college life. And at that time, I'm so sure that I will learn math and take math as one of my majors. So I start my preparation from second semester, which I cannot find my interest in math and art. And so I started doing my academic preparation, like take all the required courses. I think the key point for me to get accepted would be uh, my personal statement, which my professor helped me a lot. I have my interest in math and art and how to show them, show my passion of math and art, and then show my interest to this program and what kind of thing I can bring to this program. Um, that's something I think is the key point. I didn't really think that's some problem to me because I think a relationship is all based on the fate. If it is the time to meet someone, it is the time to meet someone. And I meet my boyfriend when I was in Moscow. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of my friends find their true love here. We have a really good uh, cross-registration programs where you can take courses in Emory and Georgia Tech. A lot of my friends find their boyfriends or girlfriends there. Mm, choose a college which has beautiful campus and make you feel you are living in an oil painting every day. And also choose a place where you can get, you can build really close relationship with professors and get support from them. And also choose a place where you will really take it as your home. So these are the pieces I've drawn for my figure drawing class. This one, was, I'm kind of imitating the propaganda poster style while well, use the old Sharpies, black, right and kind of watercolor and ink to draw this piece and this one is pure color pencil drawing i spend a lot of time working on it it's my self-portrait which can kind of show my personality my preference on black white and red colors and this is my boyfriend and i draw a portrait for him as a gift <laughs>